Okay, my problem is to find the least common denominator of part A. Now, when finding the least common denominator, first you should know that the denominator is the number at the bottom. These two terms. The least common denominator is a number that both of these terms can go into. If nothing is in common, you take all. If something is in common, take the higher power. So something they both have in common is the x minus 3. They both have x minus 3, but this number has two of them. So you must take all. Now, you see that this number has 2, and this number has 4. So, 2 can fit into 4, so you have to take all, which is the 4. This is your least common denominator. So, let's start with the first denominator. And you start off right away by factoring. So you can take your two x's. And now we need to find a number that multiplies to equal a positive 6, yet adds to equal a negative 5. And it looks like the two numbers you can use are a negative 2 and a, posit and a negative 3. Sorry. And to check this, to make sure you get back to the original number, is FOIL. First, outside, inside, and last. Combine like terms. And I came out with the same that I started with. So it looks like these two factors are for the bottom. Now, because we're trying to find the least common denominator, we need to see if we can factor to get any of the same terms we got in this first set. So let's go over here, and this also looks like it is all ready to be factored. Now we are looking for a term that multiplies to equal a negative 10 but adds to equal a positive 3. And it looks like we can use a negative 2 and a positive 5. And let's do a quick check. And you FOIL it to quick, it, to quick check it to see if you can get the same answer you started with. First, and your outside terms. your inside term, and your last terms. Oops. Combine like terms. And we did get the same that we started with. So these two, for B we have these two sets that we FOIL to. But remember, when we are combining, that, sorry, that when we are finding the LCD of algebraic expressions, if nothing is in common, you take them all. So let's see, the two things in common are the x minus 2, so we write that. Because this works for both of them. Now we have x minus 3 and x plus 5, so we take both. And that is your LCD. And these are your answers for number three.